Hey, what's up, Hollywood? Chelsea Briggs here. So excited to talk about a very special movie, Trophy Kids. Such a special young man. Ira! What? Have you slept? I'm writing a movie. What is this movie going to be about? Living. For you, Ira. Joined by Ryan Eggold and Brandon Yankowitz. How's it going, guys? It's going well. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. <laughs> yeah. Starting off, I kind of just want to hear in your own words the premise of the film, Trophy Kids. Sure. Um, it's a story about when you wake up, you're around mid-twenties, and you realize you may not be as special as everyone has always told you you are. Kids of our generation are always given trophies and other uh, vehicles of empty praise, regardless of accomplishment. They're called, among other things, millennials. There are about 80 million of them born between 1980 and 1995, and they're rapidly taking over from the baby boomers that were raised by doting parents and played in little leagues with no winners or losers or all winners. They're laden with trophies just for participating. When I grow up, I want to spread. That's what you want. Exactly what you Specifically, it's about, you know, uh, two guys and a girl. Uh, myself, um, playing Max, this sort of playboy character who's had it on Easy Street. Um, and I come up with this scheme to, to make money with a film, and I get in contact with David Gallagher's character, Reed, who's total opposite of me. And sort of both in, self, in love with the same woman, and, uh, and so we, we sort of are foils for each other as we try and get this movie made. And yeah. Brandon, you co-wrote the movie. So sort of tell me the inspiration behind it and how you guys came up with the script. We went to a secret secluded location for six weeks, uh, my parents' home in Boca Raton, mm -hmm. and we, we knocked it out. So uh, that's really the inspiration, just kind of telling a story about us. I, you know, for the first film, you know, you write what you know, mm -hmm. and that's what we did. We, we wrote what we, what we know. Two weeks? Really? Shouldn't it be longer? Look, I really need your help. I don't know how to do this. I have money. Read, this is like 50 pages. In three weeks. This is amazing. Will you be starring in this movie? Who can play me better? When I was that age, I punched in and out, and I thank God for the privilege. And cut. Was there any specific situation that you drew from um, in regards to Generation Y? There's a lot of fiction in there, and things that we kind of uh, you know, just came up with, but there are uh, a lot of... Uh, real-life experiences uh, in the film. And you guys filmed it in 2009, a couple of years ago. What was it like on set? I actually was afraid to play Max because I thought he could so easily become one-dimensional and yeah. sort of a stock character. And the, the trick with Brandon and, and Josh was discovering how to make him a human being and not just um, one note. Okay. You know? That's credit to you, Ryan. I mean, you really, you made him, you gave him that third dimension. Go on, I'm listening. You guys just had a moment. You're having a moment right here. I like this. <laughs> Can we eat some more, some more praise for me, I think. <laughs> Kidding. The funniest thing that happened on set. One of my favorite parts was we, we would do these, we did night shoots all week, and so we were delirious by the end of the week because we're in this nocturnal schedule and we just didn't know up from down. And we'd always end up at this great place called Cafeteria, oh, yeah, right, in New York. Cafeteria. Great it's spot. And it was us and a bunch of trannies at like 6, 7 in the morning, eating <laughs> eggs and like drinking a Bloody Mary, just completely brain fried and uh, those were good mornings. The concept of Trophy Kids, what do you guys hope viewers will take away from this movie? No generation could, could it be and is more optimistic than we are. It's true. Uh, you know, we believe we're still special and things can happen and things look, you know, look bleak, but we're out there working hard and saying, hey, we could still be whatever we want to be. Following our dreams, right? Following our dreams. What do you guys see next for um, Trophy Kids? Maybe more festivals or... Yeah, we're going all over the film festivals and, you know, sell the thing. It's going to keep and, you busy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see which uh, distributor works and out for us and we'll... We just won, uh, we just won the Palme d'Or at Cannes, um, opposite Terrence Malick, which was oh, exciting. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not true. I just <laughs> <laughs> What's been the most coveted award trophy that you've received? I'll give you good, an interesting trophy story. Sure. It's kind of bit inspirational for trophy kids. When I was in, when I hope I, I want to say 12 years old, we played in, it was like the level above the Little League World Series called the Dizzy Dean World Series. We ended up coming in fifth place. Our parents went, found a local shop and got these little plastic trophies made. We, di we didn't get it from the tournament. Found these little plastic trophies with fifth place oh dad, from mom and dad. So that's where I said, listen, even, you know, no matter what, we always got trophies. We always yeah. said, you know, good, good for trying. And you know what? It, it, I enjoyed that trophy. I still I've got a baseball one as well, actually. It was uh, for T-ball when I was like five or something. And I always thought it was so funny because it was like, congratulations, you can hit a ball that's standing still right in front of your face. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. And um, when I got older, I actually 
ripped the T off the trophy so I could convince my friends it was for baseball, not T ball. Hilarious. Yeah, That's I, had, I had to look cool. And do you still have it? <laughs> I, I think it's probably still my parents' house somewhere floating around. Yeah. And did your friends buy it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it worked, but the little nubbin of like, what is that Wait in front minute. of his feet is confusing, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much yeah, for chatting with us. Yeah. Good luck with well, everything. Well, we're going to the Hollywood Hockey yet. now. Ooh, so. yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready for this? Hug, can you hug it out? Pressing questions. All right, what do you need to say? It's the first thing that comes to head. All right.